Welcome to Flip Lesson 97 for the fifth grade. Today we are looking at ratios. Now, what is a ratio? A ratio is a way to compare numbers with division. Huh? What? Let's go through some simple problems. Really, it's just looking at a comparison, and through that comparison, you're going to make a fraction that's going to be able to help us understand what the comparison is is. And we've got some special rules that go along with ratios that we want to make sure you're paying attention to follow those rules. Now, for example, it says there are 12 puppies in the store and 15 kittens. What is the ratio of puppies to kittens? And so what we see here is we're making right a comparison. We're comparing. And we want to compare puppies to kittens. So in ratios, to figure out what the numerator is, the top of the fraction, we got to really pay attention to what the question is asking. It's saying, what is the ratio of puppies, right? Puppies comes first to kittens, which comes second. Because puppies comes first, puppies is on top. Puppies is the top of the fraction or the numerator. And since kittens comes second, kittens is the bottom of the ratio just because of that word order. So that word order is very important. Now, from here we can say, okay, if puppies is on top and kittens is on bottom, let's plug in some numbers. Okay, so we have 12 puppies, all right? So 12 is on top, compared to 15 kittens. And so it would be easy to say, okay, I have a ratio of 12 to 15. However, we have a fraction here. And because we have a fraction, we do want to reduce fractions. So ratios can be reduced unless it tells you not to. But they can be reduced. So if we're going to take this and we're going to reduce it, we're going to look for uh, greatest common factor. right? And in this case, we're going to find that 3 is the greatest common factor. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4 and 15 divided by 3 equals 5 and so the ratio of kittens is really 4 to 5 so for every 4 puppies there are 5 kittens which matches what we see going on here so that's our first look at ratios let's try another one okay ratios of course can go into much much larger numbers though all right, it says, if there are 5,000 Husky fans at the game and 3,000 Cougar fans at the game, what is the ratio of Husky fans to Cougar fans? All right. Now, once again, we got to start by understanding, well, what is the comparison, right? Here's our fraction, right? Huskies comes first, so that has to be on top. And cougars come second, so that has to be on bottom. All right. Now that we have that information, now we can plug our numbers in. Okay. So as we plug our numbers in, we see that there are 5,000 Husky fans, and there are 3,000 Cougar fans. And so we have that comparison. But just like before, we need to reduce if possible. Now, looking at these, you might think, oh, man, how am I going to reduce this? However, hopefully you can see a very simple comparison. You see all these zeros here? Those can all be eliminated. And to do that, you're actually going to divide by 1,000. Right. And so we can have that comparison. So 5,000 divided by 1,000 is going to give us 5. And 3,000 divided by 1,000 is going to give us 3. Now, from here, you might say, oh, Five-thirds, that's an improper fraction. Let's reduce that. Turn it into a mixed number. And this is where ratios are different. We're not going to change these into mixed numbers. Because by doing that, it's going to take away the comparison. So we want that comparison to stay. And to keep that comparison, we're going to leave our comparison as an improper fraction. And so the answer is 5 over 3. Five Husky fans for every three Cougar fans. So we have that idea. All right, here are some sample problems to get you on your way as you start to work with ratios.